Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm with Progressive Air Systems. I'm a service technician here, and I am going to walk you through some of the setup and features of your Honeywell T6 Pro thermostat. Um, this is a basic programmable thermostat, uh, as most of our thermostats are programmable these days. Uh, if you do not wish to use that feature, we can turn that off, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So over here on your thermostat, you've got menu. You're going to push menu. And you see programming on the screen, you'll hit select, you arrow over until it says off, push select, it will save, and then it'll bring you back home. And then you can go ahead and turn your cooling on, change the temperature up and down, and it's going to stay right there where you set it. Now, if you do wish to use your programming, we can go ahead and turn that back on right there. You hit select and it's going to bring you into all of your, your days of the week for you to go ahead and set. So you've got Monday through Friday, that's going to be blinking on the screen. You hit select, it's going to bring you into your schedule. You can set your wake, away, home, and sleep temperatures, or you can turn them on or off. So you go into your time first, you're going to set 630 to wake, you hit select, it'll bring you to your heating temperature, then you'll set your cooling temperature, and then you'll go to your way home and sleep. You go all the way through all of those. Once you're done on the sleep setting, it'll bring you to Saturday and then Sunday. You can go ahead and set separate te uh, temperatures and times for those days. So usually we don't do the same thing on the weekends we do during the week, okay? And then when you're done there, go ahead and hit home. It will save and bring you back to the home screen. It's just that simple. Now. If you want to change it, because say you just get uncomfortable and you just want to turn it down for a little bit, not a problem at all. Go ahead and come up to your thermostat. You hit your down temperature. You'll see temporary hold over here on the left. Now what that means is it's going to stay at that temperature temporarily until the next time that your thermostat is programmed to change temperatures. And then it'll override and go to that temperature. If you don't want that and you want it to stay there until you tell it to change, all you're going to do is you're going to change your temperature. You'll see hold right here. You'll push that button and it'll say permanent hold on the screen. Now it'll stay there until you physically go into the thermostat and change it. Do that by going to menu and you see hold. You'll hit cancel and it'll turn off the hold and it'll go back to following schedule. It's just like that. Uh, one of the other cool features on this thermostat, it's called an auto changeover feature. So what that means is you can set your cooling to whatever your comfortable temperature is for cooling. You set your heating to whatever your comfortable temperature is. If it drops below your heating set point, it's going to automatically bring on the heating. If it rises above your cooling set point, it'll automatically bring on the cooling. You just push mode till you get to auto, and then that feature is active. One of the other things that happens on, um, when it's cooler outside, the system doesn't run as often. And sometimes even if it's at your desired temperature, you still feel a little uncomfortable because the system's not running. Maybe it's a little stale air, humid in the home. What you can do there is you can take your fan and you can put that on a circulate option. And if the system's not running for an hour, it'll circulate the fan for you just to move some air around and get you feeling a little more comfortable in there. Okay, um, another feature on this thermostat, if you have roommates or kids like to touch the thermostat when you're not around, we can lock it. So you go to menu, you're just going to arrow over till you get to lock, you'll push select, you can turn it on a partial or a full lock and that'll lock the screen so nobody can touch it unless you put that password in. Password for this thermostat across the board is always going to be one, two, three, four. It's pretty simple. Um, one of the other things on this thermostat is if it loses power, it does not need batteries to run. The batteries are backup for your programming. So if the thermostat does not have batteries in it, that's okay. It gets power from the unit. The only way it would shut up off is if the thermostat loses power. Usually that happens uh, maintenance related issues. If you have a backed up drain line, it can trip the float switch and that'll shut the unit off. It'll cut the thermostat off. That way it doesn't flood your house. And that's a safety feature. You know, we want that. We don't want any floods in the house. Um, if it comes back on and you notice cool on is blinking. So normally you notice when you turn the temperature down, 
you see up in this corner, once that stops blinking, it'll say cool on, okay? If that's ever flashing, what that means is that your thermostat is in a time delay, and that's to protect your compressor from short cycling. So you just wait until cool on is steady, like it is here, and your system should come on, and you shouldn't have any issues after that. If you do, of course, give us a call. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you still have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 855-847-3898, and we'll be happy to help.